So, Carol, I'd like to talk a little bit further about why the Cardin Academy of Huntington Beach method of reading is superior to other, other readings. Now, you talked a little bit about the phonetic approach, so tell us more about the phonetics. Children learn to, uh, to sound out the uh, consonants, and once they've got all the consonants, then they go right into the long sound of the vowel. That makes this unique. Most often the short sound is uh, given, but with the long sound, the children get 300 or 400 words. And then, using those words, then we move on into the comprehension. So in other words, what happens is, is that the children are given a, a basic grounding in the phonetics right. so that they can sound out any type of word. Now, just because a child can sound out a word doesn't mean they necessarily understand it. Is that correct? correct? That's correct. So talk to us about comprehension. So, about comprehension. When a child is able to read, Jane made a cake, I'll say, what is the most important word? Well, Jane. Well, Jane, we categorize, and we say Jane is the name of the person who made the cake. Now, it could be a little girl in her play station, or it could be a mom, or it could be a grandma. And then another time, we'll come back to a word uh, uh, like that, and it would be Jane made a cake, and we want to emphasize that it's a cake. So now it's the dessert that they're making. So then this gives the, uh, the teacher an opportunity to talk about desserts and all kinds of desserts that a person could have, not just a cake. In other words, there's an expansion and an extrapolation so that there's an actual discussion about, about the particular subject sentence that makes the child think of uh, other, other possibilities and the completeness. And there's an imagination that's used mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that the child gets many nuances. Now use the word wave. Carol, you mentioned that example before. This is a really good example. So tell us about wave. So with the word wave, when we're a child's five or six years old, they can wave hello or wave goodbye. But there's also a wave at the ocean. So when we go down to the ocean and we see that wave come in, we can have, see surfers. And so it's spelled the same, it sounds the same, but within context, then we begin to understand the meanings of hello, goodbye, or the wave at the beach. Right. If, if you were to say the surfer rode the wave mm -hmm. at the beach, mm -hmm. it obviously wouldn't be the hello or the goodbye. And there's a lot of words in English right. that fit in that category. So we need to talk with the children and we need to get them involved with what does it really mean? What is the context? How is it meaningful to you as a child? Okay. Outstanding. Now let's